So today we are here at Hardware Pioneers 2023 and I'm joined by Callum from Texas Instruments and it's great to see you. Nice to meet you. So today we've got a whole bunch of different products including a Beagle board and some Freedom connectors so hopefully if Callum you could take us through it. Yeah so we'll start off at the center of uh, our demonstration we have our Beagle play boards. Uh, this demo is set up in conjunction with OKDo. Um, so on our Beagle play boards we have our AM62 microprocessing unit um, we also have our Wi-Fi chips on there, our Wirelink uh, 8 devices, broadcasting 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Alongside that, we have our CC1352 SOC, uh, which is a sub 1 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz uh, microcontroller, um, which connects to our Beagle Connect Freedoms that you can see over here. And so, uh, could you go through a bit more in detail on what these are and how they work? Yes, yeah, so the Beagle Connect Freedoms, it has one of our CC1352 chips in as well, similar to the Beagle Play. It also has a housekeeping micro alongside it, the MSP430. And how this works is we've got a long range antenna plugged in and that allows to broadcast between the Beagle Play and the Beagle Connect Freedoms. And I think last time we, when we were discussing this, you mentioned about the frequency this operates at. What is the frequency and the, and the, uh, the protocol that it's using? So this is uh, a narrow, band, uh, narrow band frequency, so it's uh, the six low band protocol. 600 mat? Uh, uh, six low band, yeah. Oh, okay. um, oh, yeah. So with that as well, so what it, what it allows you to do is this can be up to 100 kilometers away. 100, 100 kilometers? 100 kilometers, yeah. So this is independently powered. So for instance, if I had a, a power bank and I was uh, two, three streets away, um, it should still register the clicks back because uh, it's uh, up to a 100 kilometer range with uh, this antenna and the protocol. Yeah, I'm just a bit shocked by the 100 because I know like things like LoRa tend to be like about 15 kilometers. Yeah. So what frequency, no, not, not like the band, but like the actual like megahertz, what, what is the frequency then? Um, so it's sub gigahertz. Um, I'm not too sure exactly on the exact frequency. That, that is really far range, 100 kilometers. And so, but is it also low power? Low power, yes. So this, this can run off a coin cell battery, uh, it can be battery powered in the field, um, it can be deployed for a long amount of time, can up to 10 years battery life. So it's 10 years for 100 kilometers range. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Um, so what else have we got around here? Because I think we've also got some uh, micro boards here as well. Yeah, so as you can see on, on that uh, Beagle Connect Freedom, we've got the rotary Y-click uh, micro boards. Um, and with these micro click boards, they all run on the same SDK. Um, so uh, it's plug and play. You plug them into anything that supports the micro bus, as you can see on the top of the Beagle Connect Freedom there. Um, and they've got a whole range. It's very quick development. If you want to get motor drives working, uh, if you want to uh, add connectivity or 4G to your development boards, it's possible with uh, micro click boards. And so just to be clear, any of these micro click boards can be used with the Freedom Click Connects and the Beagle board. Yes, exactly. So the uh, Beagle Play and the Beagle boards overall, they support uh, the micro bus on there that connects to this. So we clearly have some kind of demonstration here. So would you mind showing us how it works? Yes, exactly. So um, the first one was the Beagle Connect Freedom, six low pan, long range, uh, rotary Y click, it registers uh, the change in clicks on Node Red's uh, GUI that's running native on Debian. Um, and then we've got the other Beagle Connect Freedom, which is our Zigbee MQTT adapter that allows us to connect to Home Assistant that's in the Docker container on the Beagle Play. So to be clear, this is actually running uh, a Linux flavor right now? Yeah, so it's, it's running there Debian um, and it's, got, uh, it's running a Docker container um, virtually that allows us to connect to Home Assistant through the app. And that Zigbee adapter allows us to add the likes of the IKEA smart plug outlet, uh, TradFry, uh, which traditionally you need a proprietary gateway for. Um, and that allows us to turn the slice on and off from the app. That was quite instant. Can we try that again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's really can, impressive. You can connect as many nodes as you want, up to normally about 20, 20, 20 or 35, uh, depending on what you're using as a Zigbee adapter. So just before we wrap this video up, uh, for the viewers who are watching this, um, if they wanted to get involved with the microclip boards and the new Beagle board development kit, what would you recommend? So OKDo OK provides uh, the Beagle player boards. Um, and on the Beagle board community, you can purchase it directly on there. Um, they're through a range of different distributors. 
Um, we also have a lot of content on CI for AM62 training uh, for anyone that's new to Linux to get running up and running that. Uh, but the Beagle board community stems from that also. And there's loads of interesting guides. And the click board's the best way to get started uh, for fast developments and see something working. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. And thank you ever so much for taking the time to see us today. Thank you very and much. And for those out there, if you want to know more about what's going on here with the micro clipboards and the Beagle boards, check the link in the description.